Hi, and welcome to Guitars and Gizmos and the continuous hunt for great tone. I'm Tour, all four, and this will be my show where I'll talk about my hunt for the optimal guitar tone. We can't all sound the same, of course, that would be no fun. But I aim to have a bit of personality in what I manage to grind out of the guitar. I must state that this is a personal voyage and that my search for tone is mostly aimed at live performance with a band and not so much how it sounds at bedroom levels. Uh, but of course, doing these videos from home, there are some limits to how much I can bother my neighbors. It would be fair to mention some of my go-to genres and they would normally be in rhythm and blues, uh, blues, soul, rock, jazz. To mention a few of my favorite guitar players, I will go with Matt Schofield, Chris Buck, John Mayer, Scott McKeon, and also John Schofield, and not to be confused by being in family with Matt. He's also a clear beacon for me. So I should probably warn you that if your preferences are in prog rock, more heavy stuff or the likes, you probably won't be overly amazed with my choices. <laughs> So, this concept will be about me figuring out pickups, guitars, amps, effect pedals, and related gear, mostly coming from a self-taught, do-it-yourself approach. And I have some thoughts on subjects for coming episodes. They could be that I sometimes want to have a tweet kind of tone. So why not go for a dedicated tweet amp? Let's check the options. Or um, should I take my Fender Blues Junior or my Princeton Reverb to a gig in a small venue? Which will serve me better? Or maybe bring both? What about boost pedals? Is there an advantage in rather using the volume knob on the guitar or would I gain something by using a boost pedal? What is the result of using too much gain, especially in a band situation? And when is it too much gain, really? And it could be single coil guitars versus humbucker equipped ones. So there's much fun ahead. I like to think that the search for tone for me starts with a creative and musical initiative. That I search for something that can express my voice, if you like. One important aspect might be that I mainly play my original songs. So I'm hunting for the tones that I find inspiring and that will suit my music. Who knows, maybe I'll manage to get hold of interesting guests every now and then to discuss related matters. That would be fun. So if you think this could be worth lending some minutes of your life to every now and then, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be sure to catch me when I put out something new. So that's it. Treat yourself to some guitar time now. Bye for now.